PSEG is asking to retain $300 million in ratepayers' subsidies annually in order to keep its two nuclear plants operating in South Jersey. PSEG filed an application with the State Board of Public Utilities requesting three more years of subsidies, saying the financial need is even greater now. But environmental groups question that, arguing the utility is profitable. Meantime, the state's Division of Rate Council is still trying to overturn the original subsidies. That legal case has been delayed due to the pandemic. PSEG is an underwriter of NJTV News. Job creation in the U.S. slowed in September. Just 661,000 new jobs were added to the economy, according to the government's monthly jobs report, which was released today. The unemployment rate fell to 7.9%. In New Jersey, right now, there are about 30,000 open manufacturing positions that companies are having trouble filling. That's the word from John Kennedy, CEO of the New Jersey Manufacturing Extension Program. The average manufacturing wage, annual wage in New Jersey is over $94,000. That's pretty good money. I mean, uh, so we're not talking about low tech, low productive jobs. We're talking about high tech, meeting smart, capable people. This week, Kennedy's organization received a $1.5 million state grant to help facilitate job training and apprenticeship opportunities, particularly in South Jersey. Today was the annual state gathering known as Manufacturing Day, which highlights the importance of that sector in New Jersey. We've got some new numbers on just how hard the state's economy was hit by mandatory closings and stay-at-home orders from the COVID-19 pandemic. New Jersey's GDP fell 35.6% in the second quarter. That was a steeper drop than the national average. Here now is a check on the Wall Street Trading Day. I'm Rhonda Schaffler. Those are your top business stories.